Hello everyone, I hope you are well. I'm just waiting for this zombie villager with a sword to turn into a villager and then we're going to let him out of there. Um, oh, he's gone off by himself again. So I'll just quickly show you around. Oh, I can actually hear him, so that might be useful for knowing when he's turned. So I've moved the villager houses back a little bit. I made three to see if they'd breed and they haven't yet. And I did some reading and apparently then he's they naturally level or breed to a number that's about a third of the number of the doors. So um, so there's only three doors. And there's actually actually three villagers because I've um, healed, a, healed a villager. And he, this one's a librarian, so it's all books and paper and stuff. And so I managed to uh, trade with him quite a lot because obviously paper and books... This one as well, I made a couple of written books with not a lot written in them, to be honest, um, in exchange for emeralds and stuff. And that allowed me to trade a bit more with the others. Um, so this guy I traded with, yep, and he wants diamonds in exchange for emeralds now, which isn't a great deal. And this guy, I bought his a pickaxe off him, which I think is still in my inventory, is it? Yeah, there it is. And um, and he and then he started trading iron in exchange for emeralds, which maybe still isn't a great exchange rate, but I did it anyway. Um, and then that's unlocked chain chest plate. So no amazing deals just yet. The written book deal was pretty good, but I have to. I need more feathers to do it. To do lots of them. So I got me farming chickens a bit more. This guy's turn, so we can push him out. Looks like. Uh, another one again, is he, or is he another engineer? I think he might be another, oh we can trade with him, let's see. Oh, what was that? Oh, where's he, where's he off to? He's come all the way back down here. Oh, maybe he's not, maybe he's an armourer. And look like leather pants to Um. Oh, so he's trying to come all the way back down to where we got him from. We'll put the water back there. But if we're behind him now, we can push him up the stairs. Unless, oh god, he hasn't walked off this way, has he? No, come back, I say. Come back. You there. Where are you going? No! He's going off all over the place. Okay, maybe he'll come back now. Might have to block off some, uh... Block off some pathways. Oh... Oh yeah, let's do that, force him to come uh, down here again. Just build a little mud staircase so that he doesn't hurt himself. Where did he go? There's no houses over here, come on. This, ha this isn't how I was expecting the beginning of the video to start at all. Um, so yeah, back over this way, come on. In fact, we could close off this. This part of the cave, couldn't we? Bit by bit. Oh, yep, yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, yep, yeah, keep, come on. Keep on coming over this way. Yes, that's right, I've blocked it off. We don't want you to go that way. This was much easier if I went there up the stairs as a zombie. I didn't think pushing them down again would cause so many... Oh, did he go down? Where did he go? Did he go down? Did he go all the way through? Or have we lost him? Has he despawned or something? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. He does seem to have disappeared, actually. Um, so that's a shame, but I have cleaned up all the dirt that I left down there, so it's a bit cleaner, <laughs> a bit clearer down there. Um, oh, there's a skeleton on their roof. I didn't think of lighting the roofs. The roofs. I better do that quick as well. That um, villager did not look amused. So it seems skeletons not attack villagers, then. Do they have enough trouble from zombies anyway? 
they'll light up these rooftops. So these houses aren't much prettier than the ones before, but again, they're just temporary. What I'd really like is to have the village right on the end of the island, like in that area, and um, maybe build some little um, Corrales houses like like my main base. So they kind of match. So we'll see. Let's light up this roof as well. What? Oh, I thought I saw a creeper for a second, but it was just grass, so that's okay. Um, so I did quite a lot of trading with these guys off camera. Um, they're all healed zombies. The librarian's actually the second one that I got because another zombie curing session um, went wrong and the zombie escaped and started killing the villagers that I had, including one librarian that I got already, and then I just, I put them, I killed both of them um, to make sure that I kept at least my original two guys, and then I eventually healed another librarian instead. Now, the animals I've separated into pens now, so there's the pigs in this pen here, as you can see, the cows were already separated. I had a creeper explosion there, Again, I don't know where, there must have just been a spot missing in my lighting somewhere. I think it was during a storm as well, so it's, easy, you know, it's a bit darker during storms. I have lit up those little islands over there, as you can see as well now, to make it a little bit safer. Stop mobs spawning in the distance and then swimming over. This area is just sheep now, and I've moved the chickens into a little pen here. So this is good for all the animals, um, not just in terms of room and being able to see them and be organised, but in order to breed them. Like, say I need a particular item, like in this case earlier, I needed a lot more feathers because I had ink, so there's loads of, loads of squid around for ink, but I needed a lot of feathers to make um, writable books to trade with that particular villager who is giving away one emerald for each one written book. So I wanted loads of feathers, I only had two chickens and so it took a long time to get any feathers at all like breeding the chickens and then killing the adult and then all sorts of stuff. Cracking loads of eggs to try and um, to try and hatch some new chickens as well. Do we have any seeds on us? We do. So, But yeah, so if we've got the animals in their own separated to their own pens then we can breed certain animals and we can breed loads of them without it getting really messy and it's, it's difficult enough separating them just to put them in different pens actually but at least now a lot of animals are attracted to different types of food so that made it easier pigs was especially easy because only pigs go for carrots so that's all that and I'll just show you my storage room as well Which is, oh, not sure what happened there, a bit of a graphical glitch. The storage room is here. Um, like I was saying before, there's space for nine sets of chests. And then when well, I started putting them down, and I made a whole, I made like 30 extra chests as well. And it still doesn't fill all the available spaces. And I realised, well... I can just have them round the wall for now, and it's, you know, just tons and tons of empty space anyway, so it's quite sufficient for the time being, and this means that I can use the picture frames um, to label what each chest is, and I can actually just put them on the wall. It's only when there's chests in the middle that that might become a bit more complicated, but it might not actually be necessary. It might, lots of nice space like this, it doesn't have to be completely filled, just because this is the maximum space available in this particular room because of the shape of the island. Um, I think this is quite nice, it's going to be loads and loads of space and when it does eventually run out I'll dig a little staircase down and that will give us access to a lower level of this storeroom as well and I can fill up that one as well. So I think that's all good. Next episode will be episode 30, which will mean download for you guys. So I hope you enjoy um, the progress so far and farming all the animals and stuff. I might even I might separate the crops and give them each their own little area as well. Um, 
I feel like there's probably like the best area for each one in some way, which of course there isn't, but um, I'm kind of just throwing them wherever at the moment, really, and then we can always move things around later. But I think the most important thing is separating stuff up so that, like I said, so in the example of animals, we can breed them lots and lots and they're not going to get all mixed in with other stuff. And um, it's nice and simple if we need to grind and farm a certain material. So leave suggestions in the comments and I will see you tomorrow.